Hey everyone, hello and welcome to another Xbox One update video. So uh, yesterday we got an update from uh, Carrot Cake, the developer behind the, the, um, the new exploit uh, that will be coming soon for the Xbox uh, One X and Xbox Series S and Series X. Uh, she, she posted a video just like showing uh, the what, what we can expect uh, from uh, the exploit once it's released and it's she mentioned here uh, in the uh, in the tweet it's reverse shell on xbox retail mood and this video starts uh, right as the exploit starts on xbox series x x so we can expect the same on xbox one and today i just like wanted to go through the video because it have a lot of um, stuff happening and for some people might not uh, like showing what what's exactly how going on here so Let's start up the video and go through uh, what's exactly the video is uh, showing here. So let me maximize that and let's play up the video. So as you can see here, uh, she's starting from a command line. This is a terminal tool, so uh, it's a normal terminal tool in Microsoft Windows. And uh, she started typing the uh, nc.exe command. So we have it nc, which is netcat. And uh, she have like this parameter, uh, L -N lvnp, uh, with the port number. So uh, this is just like establishing a connection, uh, exposing the port uh, to other clients. So what we can expect that in, in Xbox itself on the game script app, she runs some sort of script and then execute it, um, run this run this, this uh, script and at the same time she executing this command to establish a connection between the Xbox and uh, Windows system. So once she launching this command, let's check what will happen here. It takes a moment and yeah so it's lessening so any on that port so it's like expecting anyone to connection to, to establish connection on the port uh, 6969 and let's pause here and we can see here that uh, we have a Microsoft Windows version 10.0.25398.4478 and actually this is a dashboard so we have the IP address of the Xbox itself we have the port number here I would like this is the established port number and we can see here um, this is the Windows version uh, on the Xbox so we understand that in Xbox there's a potential Windows uh, like a potential Windows version there so this is the dashboard uh, version which is ending with 4478 which is the one that was uh, released back in May containing this exploit and once the connection is established here we can see here it's navigated to the S drive program files windows apps and then we can find this long directory so it's, this directory is actually the game script directory i have made a video before um, on establishing how we can obtain the uh, the packages after microsoft removed this application from uh, microsoft store and we can see here if we uh, go on the link itself and trying to um, paste this uh, link it's mentioning sorry the, the request has not been found but you can see here that uh, there is uh, a lot of exploits which is coming i mean a lot of sorry a lot of applications here uh, which bundles are the files here what one of them is the mx uh, ms um, msix bundle and we can see here this is the application which is same one what we can see on the directory which shown in the video here so basically this is the directory containing uh, the application files all the files of a game script application and this is our initiation point of establishing or like connected to the exploit itself so let's play back the video and uh, to continue the video and now we can see that she's navigating back to the s drive so she's now on the root and we can see here in the directory file she made a direct uh, dire, dire command and we can hear this is the directories inside so we have the apps we have the clips we have the connected platforms we have development we have microsoft we have program files and program data and windows so basically we have a full access inside the, um, the the operating system itself we can see you can browse all that that stuff so let's continue so uh, down on the bottom here we can see that she's trying to uh, echo a file here so it's mentioned alliance and put it in hacked uh, hack it.txt so um, she writes some uh, text inside that file and we can see that she established and created a file here and established a read write uh, a read write command here so we can see the files already uh, saved on the directory or the root directory of the s drive here so if you open the file 
see opening the opening the file now typing uh, hex.txt and yeah it's mentioning the uh, the text inside the file which is have been assigned on the echo command here so let's continue that and we can see here it's navigating back to the old drive and what we know about the old drive this is the cd or the dvd drive so now she navigated on the old drive uh, which is mentioning uh, that we have a folder here called licenses so in the dvd drive itself it can contain the, um, the application uh, for the game itself and can contain a folder called licenses and inside it can see uh, what's 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 the content here so we can see that she navigated uh, inside the licenses folder and we can see here uh, ver uh, the, the game that we um, like already uh, spoke about it which is uh, vermintide Warhammer Vermintide 2. Uh, I could grab this game and we can see here that uh, this game is already on the disk drive. So we can see here this is the Vermintide uh, XML. This is the licenses. It contained because this is the ultimate version, so it's containing the DLC 1, DLC 2, and DLC 3. Uh, and these all the licenses of the, uh, the game itself. So uh, yeah, we can see now the licenses. This is an XML format. Uh, containing the licenses for each of the things so uh, as we spoke before uh, there is, was a way to uh, make like some establishing connection to retrieve the files uh, from the disk drive and it seems that uh, the dvd room now she have an access uh, she's showing it us she's showing us that she have an access to the licenses folder and even she can do an expose so she will take this vermandite uh, xml this is the main application app and then she will do a type command which is exposing the license uh, containing this uh the license for um uh th that that game so yeah so so be very big progress uh happening here and we can expect this uh update or the exploit to be released uh before uh like mid of this month and before posting this video we got a confirmation that this is confirmed working on also the dashboard 25398.4909 which the dashboard have been released on June, um, I believe on June, uh, after Microsoft realized that there is an exploit and stuff like that, but this uh, dashboard is still exploitable. So what Microsoft has done and what we discussed before in the video, they removed the game script app. But actually, you can. Uh, I've done a video that some people doing um, can get this file and then they can like uh, publish it under their partner certificate. But it comes with. Um, it comes with a caveat that Microsoft probably will be um, panning the partner profile. So yeah, there's still some ways that you can still um, download this application through the partner or like upload it. If it's post certification, you'll be in luck and you can um, have this uh, exploit ready on the dashboard because once the dashboard is patched, uh, then there's no go back and you cannot do anything now. So yeah, a lot of progress happening uh, now. We're expecting this to be released, as I mentioned, in, uh, before, I mean, middle of this month. And yeah, this was the video, and I want to share this new updates with you guys. Um, thank you for sticking in, and please don't forget to leave a like, and share the video with a friend, and subscribe to the channel if you didn't do so. And i see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.